but Rory McIlroy is in complete control of his game. He's your leader. He was going to have to make mistakes, it would seem, and right out of the gate for the second day in a row in the first, he did. And this is after a fabulous drive at the first hole. The one place you cannot hit it is long past that hole. He had a wedge to the green. All he's going to do is land at 20, 30 feet short of the hole, but he didn't. That led to a bogey. Second day in a row, he's bogeyed the first. The question, who could come up out of the pack? The man who's got two top fives in majors this year, the only guy that's got that, Fowler. Here he is in the par five fifth. And, and what a tasty little shot here. He hit a low, hard sand wedge third and bounced it up over a ridge that everybody else had trouble. Birdie. Now this is, uh, this is fortunate. You're not expecting to make this on 11. No, no, he, but he played a smart shot left of the hole into the center of the green instead of going right at this very difficult hole location. And sometimes when you make the right decision, you're rewarded. And this was an interesting little deal here. He and his caddy worked through exactly what it was they wanted to do, hit a little cut, and he executes the shot he saw. Yeah, he hit a good eight iron, cut it in there, front right hole location. You didn't want to come in any other direction than from the left. What a play, perfectly done birdie. Three straight birdies for him. He's 12 under, and after a poor tee shot on 12, McElroy's four-shot lead is gone after that bogey. All right, so we are level. We are level in the champion championship through that point. And then Fowler wobbles a bit with a bogey. A really good par save on the par 3 13th for McElroy. Then he makes a bomb. And this is a, another situation where he hit a nice, solid iron shot into the middle part of the green, taking all the trouble out of play on the right, and then rolls in a 35-footer. Now it's getting more comfortable, and he can eat up par fives. What does he do in your estimation, Andy? And you're walking with him better than anyone well, in the world. First of all, he drove the ball perfectly, but he hits his long irons and middle irons higher than anybody in golf today, and he hit this thing for 251 yards and a winner, and it looks like a 7 or 8 iron landing on the green, setting up an eagle putt. This putt is basically straight, but he also has got great pace on these greens right now. Right now he is so relaxed and so comfortable. The ball's coming off the putter rolling beautifully. He makes an eagle there and then this is just a joke on 18. Nobody's made eagle all day. Well, Rory hadn't played it yet. The whole location is almost impossible to get to. It's way back left behind some bunkers and there's a downslope coming out of these bunkers. You have to carry over that. <laughs> he again hits it so high and so soft. Useful. No one else even came close to playing a shot like that at 18. Useful. Paul Azinger said on the telecast, he's just showing off. Well, he wasn't done. I got an eagle for all of y'all that sat through this rain and waited to see who might just be the champion golfer. Tied two-thirds of the way through the round. Six shots clear of the field when it was over. And look, it's a really classy field. There's plenty of talent that's behind him. But the lead, which was four, which was then zero, is now six.